West Coast, good afternoon, East Coast. Hello to everybody in between and outside. It's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. I am slightly late and I apologize, everyone. I was having far too much fun over in the uh, Sobeka VIP. Uh, what is that called? It's called a uh, 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 the hangout, the Zoom, the retreat. That's the one I was trying to think of. My brain is just not working today. I was having so much fun over in the Sobeka VIP retreat that I totally lost track of time. And before I knew it, I looked down and it was 101 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have a live to get to. Uh, hopefully everybody can hear me. Let me make sure, let me know, like help me make sure that you can hear me and see me. If you just put a heart in the chat, let me know that you can hear and see me okay because I'm actually running, I still have the Zoom up uh, in the background, but I just wanna make sure that uh, my audio and everything is working out. So, <sighs> crazy day, crazy, crazy day. Debbie, long time no see, I know, right? And I, w I was just there with, uh, let's see, where is she? She, I saw her in the chat. Donnell was here in the chat a moment ago. Uh, Mona is here, hi Mona. Jean is here. Uh, thank you guys so much for being channel members. I'm throwing them out there because they are channel members, but thank you all the rest of you, Liz, Karen, Judy, Michelle, Dragonflies for Donna. We got Amy Dermot, did I say that right? Is here in, uh, here in the chat as well. And if you didn't already see, I did an interview with her over on her YouTube channel. So make sure to go check her out because we did an interview about my quilt at the Dallas Quilt Show. Kevin, good to see you, Lorraine is here and uh, Michelle the Quilter, I think I said Michelle already. Uh, Joy T is here, Brenda is here. Benita, welcome, Carla, good to see you. Thank you guys for putting those hearts in the chat so that way I know that we can see and hear me okay. Uh, yeah, Donnell says, yes, uh, yes sir, I'm here. I'm here at the retreat at the same time. So there are several people who are currently in the VIP retreat and are watching the channel today. So again, guys, if you're at the VIP retreat, do not feel like you need to watch this. Please feel free to interact. Like we don't get this opportunity other than like every quarter. So um, take the time to, you know, spend time chatting with everybody at the retreat and you can always watch my video on the replay, no worries. Uh, hi, Teresa, good to see you. And Jill is here and Pat Strawhouse is here and Marie Flowers is here and uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. What was I gonna talk about? I was gonna talk about a lot of things. Hi, Flicky Cheeky, I see you as well. Kathy, good to see you. Jan, good to see you as well. I'm, I'm sitting here reading off the, the chat. <laughs> Hi, Kate, how are you? It's good to see you. Hi again. <laughs> Hi again, Ian, says Anna. Put, uh, put you on the TV while at the retreat. Well, thank you, Anna, I appreciate that. <laughs> Donnell says, I can multitask. Excellent. Tracy, good morning. Spent yesterday cleaning my sewing room and today is creativity about. Good. Excellent. Good to get that uh, cleaning done and then you can get into all the things. All right. So let's talk about Monday. Uh, Monday, Sunday night, Monday morning, I posted that I had food poisoning and I did have a really bad count, a bad case of food poisoning. Probably the worst food poisoning I've ever had. Um, I had pizza from a takeout and I don't know what was in it, but it was not good. Um, and so I got very ill. I was so sick. I, um, I never had a fever, but I had chills and like that achy bone feeling that you have. And I was stuck in the bathroom. TMI, I know, but uh, I was stuck in the bathroom for a while. So I am feeling much better. It lasted about 48 hours and then I was on the mend. So thank you guys for checking up on me and asking how I'm doing. I am doing so much better. Uh, yeah, it was it was a lot. Um, Dragonfly for Donna says, do we have a moving countdown clock yet? Not yet, not yet. I don't actually know my f official move day. Um, I am starting to get quotes from moving companies and it is going to be expensive. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot. So Mona Mona did what said? Oh no, explosive pizza. Yes, it was that. It was definitely that. So Deb says gonna lurk and stalk out here in Eth Eth Etherland. Etherland. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Sorry, my bad. But yeah, it was uh, it was pretty bad. Something that's not bad. 
Do you see, do you, do you see it over here? Can you see it? Uh, I got a great package this morning. Look at this, guys. Look how big, it's as big as my head. It is as big as my freaking face. Uh, got this this morning, FedEx delivered it, and it is ginormous. I knew that they were like really long-tailed ribbons, but holy cow, people, uh, hi Deb, thank you so much for joining the civil, civ, silver level membership. Thank you for becoming a channel member, I greatly appreciate your support. But like, it's big enough to be a Texas size mom. I could wear it, I could go to like a high school football game and wear it as a mom, it is ginormous. Anna says, that is scary, Ian. My mom lost a coworker and friend. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought, Anna, you were talking about the, how big, how scary big this is. Anna, I didn't know that you could die from food poisoning. And um, I certainly felt like I was going to because it was bad. I'm so sorry to hear that, Anna. Wow, that took a real weird turn right there. My bad. Um, yeah, I definitely won't eat pizza for a while. So where, <laughs> where is the hat? Create a fashion trend. I know. Amy says, I'm behind, Ian. Where are you moving? And yes, it is stupid expensive. Uh, Anna, I, uh, Anna, Amy, I have not yet disclosed where I'm moving. I have finally settled on where it's going to be, but I have not disclosed where that is going to be quite yet. Um, I, it's weird because I almost feel like if I, I, I I'm going to jinx it if I say it out loud. So, uh, haven't said anything yet. Stay tuned. I promise you guys, I will let everybody know as soon as I'm ready to reveal the secret. So I know Jan says now that's a ribbon, right? It's ginormous. It's so big. So Etherland. I'm still not pronouncing that right, Deb, I'm sorry. But anyways, yeah, it's ginormous. <laughs> Dragonflies for Donna says, you need a t-shirt that says, wanna see my big ribbon? But um ching So yeah, so we got that. That came in the um, in uh, FedEx today. And I also received, da, 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 I received the golden scissors trophy. I love them. And they are actual scissors. You can actually cut with them. Um, so I did receive the trophy as well. So there we go. We got the golden scissors trophy and the ribbon today. I honestly, that's all I wanted from the, um, from, from it. Uh, but I'm super excited that Juki, I haven't received any shipping notifications about the Juki, but can't wait for that. Cannot wait. Um, let's see. Uh, but you can tell us, <laughs> are you... But you can tell us, are you going to be close to Becca? I am not ready to spoil that secret yet. I, I don't know. Um, Becky says, so mad at myself. I spilled a whole bowl of goulash on the floor. Clean up on aisle four and I'm back. Another bowl sat down very carefully. Uh, yeah, I, I have definitely done that before. Definitely done that before. Trying to keep up with the chat. Um, it reminds me of the rehearsal... Uh, banquet, I made a bridal shower from bows and ribbons. <laughs> a rehearsal bouquet? Maybe that's a bouquet. That's dyslexia talking. So the scissors are pretty cool. I like them and they are, I, and they're huge. They're big scissors. So I better not run with these. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait for the machines to come in. I'm ready for the juki. That is for sure. So anyways, I'm gonna set these off to the side so that way I can get along with what we're doing today. I also uh, made a postcard. I've been, work I've been hanging out in the VIP, so the retreat, and um, I made an another postcard because I like making postcards. So I made another, this is a flimsy postcard. It doesn't have the backing on yet, but I love how this design came out. It was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Louise. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Oh, <laughs> you noticed the charm quilt, did you? Yes, I am. So I'm actually working, I'm gonna let y'all in on what I'm working on. I'm working on a, uh, where am I gonna throw this? I'm working on a video, whoops, for you've made a quilt and now you want to enter it into a show now what? So I'm going to work on a video for kind of talking about things that I've learned working to put quilts into shows, uh, the binding, does it have to be hand bound or can you do machine binding? 
what are the rules? What are what is the etiquette? Like all the things. I'm working on making a video for how to enter quilt shows. So I brought my charm, not charm, which there's actually another ri ribbon up above where the camera is. So I have three, this quilt has won three ribbons. Um, so I'm gonna be, I wanted to bring them out and talk about them and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Janice says, hello everyone, congratulations Ian, thank you. Uh, Zaza, I like that. Zaza says, love the scissors holders. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, don't walk with them either, says Debbie. Well, you're not wrong. Uh, Christine, thank you for being a channel member, by the way. Dare you use those scissors just once? I did. I've already cut with them. So Becca was like, I want to see you cut with them. And I'm like, all right. So I cut some fabric. They're huge, though. Um, Christine says, hi, Ian and all. Biggest ribbon I've ever seen. Congratulations. I know. it's the. I, I kid you not. It's literally the biggest ribbon I've ever seen in my entire life. So... Um, oh, I was going to show y'all, I've, uh, uh, this week, apparently my brain is working faster than my mouth today, it's just like not functioning correctly, so um, this week, our homework for the Showering Stars, by the way, if you haven't already figured out, we're working on the Showering Stars pattern, this is by Robin Picking Quilts, if you type exclamation pattern into the chat, if you're here live, uh, you can find the pattern uh, in that link. So just type exclamation pattern into the chat and it'll give you the pattern link. If you are catching this on the replay down in the description of this video, I have linked to the pattern. And this week, our homework was to work on the shooting star trails for the quilt. And as you know, I have been uh, doing, I wanted to do a scrappy star trail. And um, I am so in love with how well this ribbon, this ribbon, I've still got ribbon on the brain, how well these star trails are turning out. Um, you can already see the pink and red here on my tabletop, but um, they have come out beautifully. So I am in love with, the, with all the colors uh, that I can, that I've been putting together. Donnell says, well, Texas is known for big, go big or go home. Well, it, it, we have gone big for sure. <laughs> we have gone big for sure. So this is the pink and red uh, trail. So uh, that is that one. And then the next one is my teals and greens. These colors pair so well together. I'm really loving how they're coming out. Um, I just think it is so great. Samantha says, congratulations, Ian. I voted for you every day. And I meant, and I totally forgot to say, I cannot thank y'all. Let me come back on camera so you can see my face. Um, I cannot, I, I, I would not have that ribbon without all of your support. So again, from the, I, I, I hope you know how sincere I am about uh, winning that. I, I'm, I don't even have the words. I really don't. Each time I go to talk about it, I don't know what to say. I just want to thank all of you so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. And just having the ribbon and the trophy is like, it means a lot. It really, really means a lot. So thank you guys so much for, uh, for that. Um, all right. So next up is our orange and yellows. Let me hold these on camera as best as I can. So this is the orange and yellow, and it, this one came out surprisingly well. Like, I really like how this uh, came. <laughs> Donna, <laughs> Donna uh, says uh, the ribbon needs its own moving van. Uh, you, you may not be wrong. You may not be wrong at all. So um, the orange and yellows just came out so great. Amy says, Oh, Ian, I love that. I think I may riff off the idea of for an entire quilt. I, absolutely, absolutely. I, right? Isn't that true? Um, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Christine says, even more special from a little piece of all of your quilts. I know, that is the cool part, is I see so many of my um, quilts represented in this one because each it has a little bit of almost every quilt I've ever worked on in it. So it's it's pretty awesome the way that everything is is turning out. 
Louise says, Ian, I don't see any of the Bernina fabric with your teals. Louise, um, I did not include any of that because I don't have any of it cut up. These are all scraps from my scrap bin. So I have not actually cut into any of that Bernina fabric yet. Um, Irish Sale Lady says, hello, Ian, and all in chat. I've started, but I'm waiting for background fabric to come in. Love your colors. Thank you. So those are my star trails. I think they came in, I think they turned out kind of amazing. Um, and I'm also super excited because um, I've been talking with Beth from Goody Goods, and she is going to be quilting this quilt. And I think I have several shows overlapping this year. Um, and so I think I might enter this quilt into the Texas State Fair later this year. Um, so she's going to be doing the quilting and she's going to be filming the process of working on this quilt when it's all said and done with. So once we finish with it over here on my channel, I'm going to ship it to Beth and in a couple weeks you'll get a video on her working on this quilt. So you're actually going to get to see this quilt come together over the past several weeks. And then you'll see the process of it getting quilted. So stay tuned for that for sure. <clears throat> Pardon me, everyone. Um, uh, Donna says those yellows are bright yet perfect in that last one. I know they turned out really, really well, didn't they? Um, Joy T says, I didn't realize the strips were so long. I didn't re quite realize how big this quilt is. It's 75 by 90. So it makes for a pretty big quilt. <clears throat> um, uh, oh shoot, I'm Matizi? Oh, I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. Says, Ian, you inspire me to enter a contest sometime and maybe do a legit kit next year. You should. You should absolutely do that. I cannot wait to see what you enter. My Showering Stars is totally scrappy. Excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. All right, so today, what are we doing today? Well, as the name of this video says, we're gonna be working on putting the star centers together. These are 25 patches, 25 patch. Um, and we're gonna be putting these together. Catherine says, I've missed you. I've missed everybody, it's been great. I'm so glad that we get to sew together. Um, so today we're going to be working on putting together the 25 patch. Now the 25 patch goes in the center of our stars. And guess what? They're going to reflect the same colors. So I'm going to use the same colors that I used in the star trails. And we're going to be putting these together. And for the first time ever, I'm going to do web stitching. I've never done that before. So we're going to see how this works. <laughs> I hope that I can do it um, without like muscle memory hitting the trim button. So wish me luck. We'll see how it works. Uh, do you have a, a backing on the quilt behind you? Yes, I do. I have a backing. And it looks like, make sure I don't dox myself because I don't want to give my address out to everyone. But there we go. This is what is on the back side of this quilt. I just got this quilt back from Florida. It was at the... Um, uh, I've got SMP and stuck in the brain. It's the AQS. It was at the AQS show um, and it came back and so I hung it back up so that way I could hang some of the wrinkles out. Uh, Louise says, your colors are prettier than the ones on the pattern. Thank you. I think, I kind of think so, but I don't want to toot my horn too, too loudly. So I've gone ahead and I already ordered these in the in the order and everything. So I'm just laying them back out. Mona says, I love the background. Thank you. I was hoping to go with a navy background for this quilt, but uh, my quilt store didn't have any of the navy. So I went with the black and it is the speckled, the Rashida Coleman speckled in black. And it has um, silver and bronze flecks in it that make it look like um, stars in the background. So. I think it'll be pretty cool. I think it'll be pretty cool when it's all said and done. Andrea says, uh, howdy, 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 everyone. Hello, good to see you. Have you gotten your prize yet? I'm curious. Good to see you, so Terry. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, Donna says, by the way, thank you to everyone for the support with the baby quilt slash milestone picture throw. It was a big success at the baby shower yesterday. Awesome. That's so great. I'm glad to hear that. And Donna, that was a wonderful email that she sent me. So I really appreciate that. I gotta change my feet out. I, oh dear, I almost lost the screw. Screw just fell off in my hand. I need to screw that back on. Um, I was doing some piecing yesterday and uh, the fabric, geez, as I drop it, um, the fabric was kind of not going under the foot correctly. And so I'm, I have my 97D on yesterday and the fabric was just not quite going underneath it correctly. And so I switched it out for my regular uh, 1D foot. Um, but now that I'm back to piecing again, I am gonna switch it back out for my 97D. I typically piece with my, my 97D. Did you, just, did you just see that? Did you just see me do that? Let's try that again. Good thing is I can sew it again and we'll, we'll just put it together, it's fine. So we're not gonna cut. See, muscle memory is really strong. Don't cut, don't cut. Just go to the next one. Because remember, I'm trying to do that web. I've never done the web before, so we're, we're gonna, we're not going to trim. Don't trim, don't trim. I've gotta put like a sticker on top of my trim button. <clears throat> <coughs> Pardon me, everyone. <clears throat> Donnell says, uh oh, Ian has a screw loose. It, I mean, you're not wrong. There's definitely a screw loose somewhere up here. Uh, Andrea says, no, I can't even get them to answer phone, email, website, chat, Facebook, Facebook message, or anything. So I don't even know for sure if I won anything. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I hope you get that figured out. Um, what one do you have? Oh, I have the, uh, by the way, she says, I love my Bernina. Uh, which one do you have? And I have the Bernina 770 and I love it. It is a great machine. Um, don't trim, don't trim. Also guys, it is very super windy today. We're supposed to have bad weather later this evening. It is super windy here today. If my internet gets knocked out, uh, I do apologize in the middle of the live stream if it happens. Sorry. Uh, hopefully it does not. Hopefully we do not lose power in the middle of the live stream, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cross your fingers, it does not, but I keep looking outside and the trees keep blowing over and I'm like, Ooh. all right. Uh, hi, people, says Nina. Hello, Nina. Good to see you. Hi, Ian. Uh, I'm late. No, you're not. No one's ever late. No one is ever late. I have moved on. If I get something, I will be happy. If not, no worse off than I was before. No biggie. Hey, Andrea, I sure hope you do, though. I hope you do get it. Um, I did call. I called Sewing Machines Plus because I filled out the form that they wanted us to fill out. And then I called. And they were like, yeah, yeah, well, we'll you filled out the form. That's all you needed to do. Um, so, yeah. Zaza, thank you. Thank you for reminding me not to cut the thread. Yep, that's what I have. I have the tulip pink because it's got this beautiful rainbow underneath. I love it. I love it. That is a great attitude to have. I agree. I hope that you do get it, though. Um, Debbie says, I won the sewing mat for, from the Sewing Machines Plus during their sale. Awesome. Congratulations. It's so great to hear so many people are winning stuff. 
Hopefully if they get it, send it to them. Don't cut, don't cut, don't cut. I have to do that, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I literally have to remind myself not to cut the fabric or cut the thread. Jackie says, we have incoming storms this afternoon. Yep, this evening, I think they said midnight. We're supposed to have possible severe storms coming through. It's my favorite time of year, everyone. It's my favorite time of year. My bathroom is prepped and ready for any storms coming through because it's that time of year. The um, apartment I'm in, the, uh, the bathroom is the center part of the apartment. So if there is severe storms, I literally climb into my bathtub because the bathtub is literally like all four units in my apart in my apartment building. The bathtub is like the center to the closest or the closest to the center that you can get. Why am I reversing words today? Anybody else notice that? I don't know what's going on. Ellen says, hi, Ian, and everyone just got through cleaning out uh, the yard from 24 inches of snow. My goodness. Um, I can tell you where I am going to be moving does not have 24 inches of snow. <laughs> I don't think ever. At least I hope it does not. Um, Louise asked, did Tiffany teach you how to do that webbing piecing? No, um, she didn't. I have seen her do it on her channel. Um, and I've seen a couple other people do it as well. Um, so I'm trying it out for the first time. So cross your fingers that it works out. Cross your fingers that it works out. All right, now I can cut because I came to the end. Uh, Dragonflies for Donna says, setting up a bounce house in case Ian comes flying east. I mean, with the weather. I don't know if anybody's in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now, but I keep looking outside. It's got that, like, overcast and, like, gray, not just the gray skies. Because if you're in Portland or, like, the Pacific Northwest, there's, like, gray skies. But here in Texas, there's this weird gray sky that comes in that you know it's going to be like a severe weather day. It, it's a different. I don't know how to like explain it to non-native Texans. We just kind of know what we're like, what's what's happening, you know? Um, the storm that brought baseball-sized hail. Yes, I said baseball-sized. Uh, there was a storm that happened last Thursday that had baseball-sized hail. Um, I think it was last Thursday, if I remember correctly. Don't cut, don't cut, don't cut. Um, that storm had baseball-sized hail, and it gave the green skies. And if you've ever lived in Tornado Alley, you know what the green sky I'm talking about looks like. And it, it, it had very green skies with it. I saw some photos after the fact, um, and that green sky was... Very unsettling. Very, very unsettling. Um, Andrea says, yes, uh, that's the only answer I have gotten. I filled out the form and called the store the night of the wind. The lady answered the phone and said that was all I needed to do. All right, well, I will say, Andrea, that I did not even receive a shipping. I know when I called in, I said, hey, are y'all going to give me an email with shipping notifications and tracking numbers? And she's like, yeah, we'll do that, absolutely. I have. I didn't even receive one for um, the ribbon and the trophy. I never received notification. The only notification that I received was literally from FedEx because I signed up for their, um, like anytime a package comes in, they let me know. Um, and that was the only notification that I got was, hey, by the way, your package is on its way. So I didn't even receive it from Sewing Machines Plus. Um, blah, 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 blah. Andrea says, I know that they're busy with shows and sales. I'm a very patient person. I just wanted to find out if it was what I want. I, I feel that. I understand that. Janice says, sounds like you're coming to North Carolina, Ian. I actually 
North Carolina was one of the places I was looking at. It was one of the places I was looking at. I will, I will give everybody a hint. I will give everybody a hint. Um, and I'm giving you this hint because I, I kind of accidentally let it slip during the VIP retreat. Um, where I am going does not have a Dutch Bros. So now it may have Dutch Bros in the state, but the place that I'm going does not have Dutch Bros. So maybe that's a clue, maybe it's not. I was commenting in the group um, at the retreat, I was saying I, I had my Dutch Bros coffee with me and I was saying, oh man, I'm really gonna miss having Dutch Bros when I move. And everyone was like, wait, what? So I kind of accidentally a little, a little slippy slippy happened. Um, let's see. Uh, Amy says gray, gray, green, stormy skies. Yeah, it's kind of, it's unnerving. Um, Louise says gray, green, like tornado. So right now I'm looking outside and it's not gray, green, but there's definitely a different gray than just like a gray rainy day. So, you know, it's going to be a little, a little kind of crazy. Matthew, Matthew, I didn't realize that you were in, um, DFW. Oh, that reminds me. I totally forgot. <laughs> um, several of you have been asking. I talked to several of you at um, the Dallas Quilt Show and in the VIP retreat as well. Several of you have been asking uh, about doing some kind of meetup here in Dallas Fort Worth. So I am currently working on trying to do a meetup. If you are in the Facebook group for Sobeka, I have put a post asking if you're in DFW, would you be interested in doing a meetup? If you are here in the chat right now, put a heart in the chat if you would be interested in meeting up here in Dallas Fort Worth for like brunch or lunch or something like that. I'm thinking I would like to do on a patio. I think a patio would be good, um, mostly because I'm still a little COVID shy for health reasons. Um, so I kind of would like to do a meetup of some kind on a patio, which means we need to do it here in April or May before it gets like blistering hot. So uh, if you are here in the chat and you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you want to do a meetup, put a heart in a chat. Let me see. Let me see how many people would be interested in that. Uh, I have an open floor concept and nowhere to hide in a hurricane or tornado or storms. I, so Joy T, what's funny is like every friend's house I go to, I always put that into my mind. If a tornado were to happen, where would I go? Um, when I house sit for my friends in Arlington, I, uh, there was a tornado uh, warning. And so I had, to, uh, I had to hide. I had to find a place to hide. Um, let's see. Uh, Marie says, I'm, uh, uh, I'm in DFW, been outside doing yard work all, all morning. Uh, a little bit windy, it is, it's very windy. Uh, Zaza says, we moan about the weather all the time in Scotland, but we rarely get severe weather and nothing like you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's bad here for sure. Andrea says, yes, green sky means to put your helmet on and get a car under cover. Absolutely. Um, what is Dutch Bros? Says both Mona and Louise. So that is a coffee place. Um, it is a, a chain of coffee. Um, I like it better than Starbucks. It's actually really, really good. It converted me from a Starbucks person and now I kind of hate Starbucks because of them. Uh, but unfortunately where I'm going only has Starbucks. So there's a clue for you. There is, there is a clue. Janice, you are correct. It is a coffee place. Uh, LA for dreams. Hello, Ian. Hello, all. I stopped in to say hi. I'm glad you're feeling better. Got a... Uh, Gotta, I think you meant to say gotta go, but much love to you all. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Jill is in the DFW area and would like to do a meetup. Marie Flowers is also in the DFW area and would like to do a meetup. Do, do, do. Jill would also like to do a meetup, awesome. 
What's a Texas-sized mom? Well, Flicky Chicky, it is like, I lit in high school, I literally had girls, that was very awkward. I should not have made a gesture like that. Um, in, <laughs> in high school, there were girls that would wear a ribbon around their necks because the mom would be so big, it would cover their entire chest. Like, it, I kid you not, they had mums that were like this big. I, I'm dead serious. They were huge. And their tra the tails would go all the way to the floor. It was crazy. Uh, Donna says, bathroom pipes in walls are supposed to help protect during a tornado. My luck, my orbit would st <laughs> my orbit would say they found me on the pipe. On the potty. I have been in multiple bathtubs uh, as a kid. Not multiple bathtubs, but I've been in the bathtub multiple times during tornado seasons uh, because of tornado warnings. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area back in, what was that? What was that year? Was that 2001? Was the tornado in downtown Fort Worth? If you live in the DFW area, you know what I'm talking about. It hit the, it hit the Bank One building. That tornado was coming straight for my house. Um, and so we were definitely in the bathtub for that one. Uh, Mikey says, uh, hi, Ian. <clears throat> hi Ian and everyone just got, uh, got in time, got here in time for the DFW invite. Would love to go, but I think it's close to a two day drive. So it might be a tiny, tiny bit out of the way. I understand. I totally understand. Um, Shelly says, you may find a mom and pop shop that is better than Starbucks. I am hoping for that actually, because I do, I like Summer Moon here in Dallas Fort Worth and they are a mom and pop kind of place, so. If you go where there's a Tim Hortons coffee shop, definitely give that. I do like Tim Hortons coffee. Flicky Chicky says, why on earth are they wearing those? I don't know. It's a Texas thing. Now, you want to hear a real Texas mom? A real Texas mom is a mom that is that big and is uh, Whataburger themed. There you go. That is it. I, so wearing a mom is like... Um, uh, Mona is asking about why they wear mums. Uh, mums is uh, uh, homecoming week. Homecoming, it's a way to celebrate homecoming week. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, Jill. Jill was at Will Rogers when it hit. You were super close to it then. Will Rogers is like right next to where the tornado hit. So, yeah, Jill, that's terrifying. Um, I remember sitting in, so I remember being in the bathtub, like my mom and dad had me in the bathtub, me and my sister in the bathtub, and um, she was out watching the news to keep on top of everything. And I remember after the after it was safe, we came back out and they showed um, the debris off, you know, floating in the air and all that kind of stuff. We actually had debris in our yard. It was small pieces, but we had pieces of debris in our yard that um, that happened. Pardon me. Flicky Chicky says, I refuse to live in tornado prone areas. Earthquakes are fine, tornadoes are not. I do not disagree with that. Andrea says, in our Zoom yesterday, Debbie from In Quilt Fact said she had a tornado warning and the only thing she grabbed to take to the shelter was her sewing machine. Okay, so Andrea, not gonna lie. Every time there's a tornado, like severe weather day, I definitely put my sewing machine into the hallway just outside of the bathroom because I want it to be safe. That is 100% true. <laughs> Donna says, moms are serious business here in Texas. They can cost hundreds of dollars. She is not wrong. As weird as it is, you, she's not wrong. Um, blah, 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 blah. Everything comes in Keurig, that is true. Uh, is that the ribbon, the one that we voted for? Yes, that is the ribbon that you all vo voted for. So pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Dutch Bro Coffee is available on Amazon, just saying, says uh, Kay. Thank you, Kay. 
Becky says, the house I live in, the bathtub is on an outside wall, so the hall with four doors might be best. Yeah, that would probably be a better place. Um, I thought uh, quinceaneras were a bit crazy expensive here. Mums are ridiculous, absolutely. Brenda says, what kind of juki are you getting? I'm getting the, uh, the uh, juki um, 2010Q. Yeah, and I'm keeping that. I'm definitely keeping that. I'm gonna sell the other two, I think. Try to pay off some of the taxes that I'll have to deal with. Um, yeah. Donna says, uh, "Grew up with the middle room. Uh, grew up with middle room of the house with no windows is best. Preferably if if it's a bathroom, but a closet is good too. When I lived at home with my mom, um, my room was in the center, and my closet was also in the center of the house. And so um, we would go to my closet. I would pull everything out of my closet, and we would go into my closet." <laughs> Christine, I, yes, 100%. What you just said, 100%. Marit C said, a tornado passed in front of me on the way to work. I pulled over to the side of the road and I was pushed into the farmer's field. Oh my gosh. Terrifying. Uh, Lori says, we were looking at places to retire and decided that we are already in the safest place as far as weather goes. New England weather is survivable absolutely okay i've got to iron this now and i need to iron. i have to do the directional iron so i'm going to be over here for a second i apologize that you just get a do you see my yep you can see my booty over here um but i'm gonna do the pressing now and i'm hoping that i don't mess it up you go one direction one way and then the other direction the other way right it's kind of hard because it's all webbed so you can't like pull it apart to do the ironing, but I think I think that's what you do, right guys? Am I doing that right? I don't know. It's gonna take you 30 seconds to respond, so I think that's what I do. I think that's how you do it. Oops, don't. I just gotta pay attention to what I'm doing is all. Don't, 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 don't do that. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. This is the quality content you came for today, right? <laughs> quality content. Yay. All right. Oops. Don't press that up. Um, great machine. I'm sewing on mine right now and love it, says Tracy. I'm excited. So, so fun creations. Hey there. Good to see you. My cat pulls himself into the shower when we have better weather. That's probably pretty safe. What are the other machines? Um, one is a belly, belly lock, <laughs> baby lock, and the other is an Elena machine, I think. Uh, Mona says, I don't care to ever move. I have too much stuff. I, I'm going to have to downsize. Okay, good. I am doing it right. Good. I'm glad because I was freaking out for a moment going, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I got to press, I got to press, but I gotta do it carefully so I don't mess up my previous press. That's the song we're going with. That's the song we're gonna go with. Right? I really probably should do this with a small iron. When I get my mini Aliso, it'll be much easier. And yes, I do have a Tula Pink mini Aliso on the way. Um, they just haven't shipped it yet. They haven't shipped it yet. Um, da, 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 da. The only inside house in our house is the bathroom. Luckily, Arizona desert doesn't usually get tornadoes. That is a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, normally y'all don't. Normally y'all don't get tornadoes. I have a couple of coworkers out in Arizona, but it's interesting because tornadoes can happen anywhere in the world. There are areas that are more prone to them, but they can happen. And tornadoes can happen 365 days of the year. Oh, and I just um, hit my blinds with the iron. Whoopsies. I think it's okay, though. Um, 
we had a tornado on December 26th, one year, a couple of years ago, many years ago, a few years ago, I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be so much easier with my mini Aliso. Can't wait for that to show up. Can't wait for that to show up. Okay, so then we go back this direction. And I will look at your comments here in just a second. I got one more row to go. And then I'm going to do the final press from the front side. Whee! All right, there we go. So much easier to press on the front side. I will look at your comments here in a moment. Sorry that I'm ignoring everybody. Y'all talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <clears throat> well, I make sure that this all gets pressed the way I want it to. Whee. Last one. There we go. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Daryl says, just uh, greetings, just wanted to say hi before I pop back into Becca's retreat. Excellent, good to see you. Uh, Tracy says, uh, is the quilt behind you the hope, uh, the, the hope quilt from G's Designs? I made it using uh, two Tula layer cakes, burnt orange stripes, and it looks familiar. It looks similar to yours. No, it is not. It is from, uh, it's the... Salt Air Lattice Quilt, I believe. Um, I, it was on a blog. I, f I found a blog that had it. Uh, Jean says, uh, what is the Aliso? It is the iron. It's the one that goes up and down. They also have a mini version of it, which is a smaller version. Um, and it is going to be uh, uh, Tula Pink. It's gonna be a Tula Pink edition. Jackie says, Ian, are you starting to downsize and pack? Well, yes, I am actually. Um, I have started to downsize. I have what you can't see off camera, off to the side there. There is a pack, uh, or there's a stack of um, things that I need to get rid of. So yes, I do have a stack of things that are going to be Finding new homes, hopefully on Facebook Marketplace to help pay for the move. Um, but yeah, I, I am starting to try and downsize as much as possible. Because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need to downsize. Um, Ian, may I ask what the first pri first place prize was? Uh, Susan, it was a ribbon, a trophy, uh, a Juki 2010Q, uh, a baby lock, I can't remember which one, an Elena uh, sewing machine, a digital embroidery file, and an AccuQuilt Go. Cindy says, Ian, will you have a larger sewing room when you move and will you still do lives? I will absolutely still do lives, 100%. Um, it will be a little, um, like I'm gonna have to take a small break, obviously, when I am going to be moving. So sometime in September, I'm gonna have to take a small break from live streaming, maybe in like sewing. And actually, that was one of the questions that I was going to pose to y'all as we get closer to September is how do you want to see my content during moving? Do you want me to do like live streams from the road or do you want to see like vlog style videos of the process of me going through and doing all the moving and stuff? So I'm trying to figure out... Um, I'm trying to figure out like what content I'm going to be creating while I'm moving. Uh, Donna says, keep practicing those hip moves and you will be long arm dancing ready 
<laughs> the next time you visit Beck, I know I need to. I need to. Uh, the the problem is like Tiffany is is much lighter than I am, so uh, I'm not sure if if uh, Becca's long arm could handle all of me dancing on top of it. So yeah, there, there's that. There is also that. Uh, Tracy asks, have you mentioned yet when you are revealing? I have not. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm ready to reveal, to be honest. I will promise I will tell y'all and keep y'all updated um, as I'm ready to share that information out with everybody. Um, so just, just stay tuned. I promise I will let y'all know as soon as I'm ready. Let's see. I want to see all when you, I want to see it all when you move. Excellent. Um, oh boy, chat is moving a little faster than I can keep up. Uh, wow, that is fantastic! Congratulations, says Susan. Thank you. Um, I ordered. Lori says I ordered my Aliso iron. It'll be here on Monday. Hubby let me get it for. And oh, that's really sweet of him. That's awesome. That's a great. That's a great anniversary gift. Mona says, I'm downsizing and getting rid of crap, and uh, but I but I blink and there's more. I know, right? As soon as you think you get rid of it, there's more of it. Joanne, uh, where are you moving to? That is still yet to be revealed. Um, I will let y'all know when I'm ready to provide that information. Just stay tuned. I promise you guys, I know y'all are chomping at the bit to find out like when and where and all that kind of stuff. I promise I will tell y'all that as soon as I'm ready um, to reveal it. Um, whatever's easiest for you, says Jackie. Thank you. Tracy says, woohoo, first 25 patch done. Didn't web so. This is the first time I'm doing it. I don't know if I like it, to be honest, because it it is a little bit easier, but it's also a little harder in some, some regards as well, so. Um, we need a demo to inspire us to use a new tool we might be ordering. Which, Brenda, which one are you ordering? I'm curious. Which one are you planning on ordering? I'd like to see the new setup of the sewing area, live stream from the road. What, whatever is easiest for you, moving can be a real pain. I, I've only moved in the same city. I can't imagine like how it's gonna be to move states, but goodness gracious, it's, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. I already know that. I'm trying to like mentally prepare myself for it because it's gonna be a lot. Um, Pat says, uh, perhaps live videos saves you editing and shorts. Oh, that's a good idea. Like live videos so I don't have to edit them and then shorts to kind of keep, fill in the gap a little bit. Possibly. So, 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 uh, live streams from the road. Deborah is here, says good morning. Hello, everybody. Love you lots. Good to see you, Deborah. Happy that you're here today. How's everything going in? Are you in San Diego or are you in LA? Maybe you're in LA. Wherever you are on the West Coast, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great day so far. I swear these were all two and a half inch squares and yet, like, I think some of them shifted and did all kinds of things. I swear it, I swear it, I swear it, I swear it. Everyone's saying whatever's best for you. Uh, Sue Ellen says, are you uh, just downsizing to make the move? Yeah, I am downsizing to make the um, move cheaper and easier. I am going to downsize some stuff for sure. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what that looks like. Like I'm going to, um, 
I'm gonna get rid of my, uh, how did I do that? I swear. How did I get them going the same direction? I swear I ironed everything in two different ways. I swear, guys, I swear to you, I did it the opposite. I don't know how that happened. Weird. Like I definitely thought I had gone, nope, that's the same direction. Wow, I buggered that one up. I don't know how I did that either. Weird. Cause I, that was one of the things of like, okay, gotta make sure it goes opposite direction of the one before it. And I somehow messed that up, but whatever. Uh, Deborah says the cat is already out of the bag. You are moving to a wonderful place near a wonderful person. Are you sure about that? I think you're trying to put words into my mouth. Live if you can, it'd be nice to see what you're doing along the way, absolutely. Would be fun to kind of keep y'all up to date on, you know, where I'm traveling and all that stuff. I thought about also doing like trying to do meetups, but I also don't know like exactly when I'm gonna be in, be in each location. So it would be really hard for me to be like, hey, I'm gonna be at this place at one o'clock, like if I end up, you know, a lot can shift and change. So I don't know, we'll see. I would love to meet people as I'm headed out to the next location, but I don't know. Um, fabric and notions multiply when you're not looking. Ain't that the truth, Katie? June says, do what you can and do not feel pressured into something. I appreciate that a lot. I really do. Linda says, can you say whether you are going east or west? I am keeping that a secret still. Keeping that a secret. Donna says, moving a fun adventure towards positive future. Ain't that the truth? That is what I'm hoping for. All right, so now, let me see if I can press, press all this. And we'll have our first 25 patch done. The first of four. Fold the right way. Seam fold the right way. There we go. All right. Oops. Do it right. I command the fabric. Do it right. Okay. There we go. Woo. Can I put... Can I spray starch on this after I've sewn everything together? Because I feel like it needs a little best press to help it do what it's supposed to do. Because some of these seams are a little, little bulky, a little bulky bulky. That looks pretty good though. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, da -da. oops. I was like, why are we not getting more comments? That's why. Uh, what model of Bernina do you have? I love, uh, do you love it? Uh, yes, this is the B770 Tulip Pink Edition and I do love it. I absolutely love it. Mona says, I got kicked out, I'm sorry. Uh, Tracy says, trying to make the next one without webbing. It, uh, try to make the next one without webbing. It goes faster for me because no, uh, no trying to press a wad of squares. Uh, I would love to see you purge your stash and hear your thoughts on why it stays or why it goes. Lori, most of my stash, fabric-wise, is going to stay 
what I'm purging is my crafting, my um, paper crafting stuff. So Melissa says, hi, Ian, had to stop uh, to brighten you, uh, to binge your old videos to join this one. I've seen you commenting on my older videos and I appreciate you going back to check out my older ones. Teresa says, are you a beach or mountain person? I am a both person. I prefer beach over mountain, but I do like both. All right, so here's the first 25 patch. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it only took me an hour to do that. <laughs> Not really. We, we stopped and chat and all that kind of stuff. Guys, I do apologize. I'm going to take a quick bio break. So I'm going to put it on to, I, I promise you will not hear me. <laughs> I'm going to give us a quick intermission. So give me just a second. Let me take a quick bio break and I'll be right back. If I can find the button. Where's the button? Here it is. All right, be back. I promise super fast. All right, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I needed to take that bio break really quick and I need to get some more water. So I'm gonna do that as well, but I didn't wanna um, leave y'all on, hey, uh, like on the um, intermission screen while I got water. Cause I can still talk to y'all while I get water. I promise if you can hear that, I'm getting water and filling up my cup, I'm not peeing. <laughs> I did that first. I did that first. All right, uh, let's see, I f let's see. Oh, I can't see the TV comments from this far away. Hold on, I'll be back there. Somebody asked a good, somebody said, I don't want to be rude and I um, need to go back and read the rest of their comment. I just saw it as I glanced really quick, um, walking away from my spot. Guys, I keep a tally mark list or a tally check for each one of these containers of water I drink. I drink four of these in a day and that's how I know that I'm, um, uh, getting enough water. Uh, I know for sure you will not be coming the way of Galveston, so I'll not be able to meet up with you. I know, Andrea, I'm sorry. I will not be going that direction, unfortunately. Uh, Lisa says, come to Georgia. Would love to see, love to have you here. Well, at some point, I'm expecting QuiltCon to go back to Georgia, so that will happen. Um, I vote for Idaho, says Shelly. Uh, Bambi says, hello, everybody. Love the quilts hanging in the back. I love this one. This is one of my absolute favorites. Christine says, I feel for you. Every, t every move makes me anxious. No sleep for days. Hope your goes, yours goes great. Thank you. France said, is it rude to ask why you feel the need to move? Uh, no, that is not rude at all. Um, I, I have been in Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, 37 years. And I am ready for change. I'm ready for change. I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to get a fresh start. So um, that, and of course the political climate of Texas, I am beginning to not feel safe here in Texas, unfortunately. Um, so I feel that it is time for me to find another location that I am gonna be happier in. So not rude at all. Uh, I have the same Bernina and I love it. Uh, Jackie says stock up on air tags for the move. <clears throat> I do still have 
two or three air tags. I can't remember how many um, is in the package. I still have air tags that I have not opened yet. Um, and I will be putting two or three into some boxes, um, getting them ready for the move. Why is that? Is that gonna fall in the seam allowance? Just barely. That's all right, it's a scrap, it's fine. Uh, I like to chain piece, but not web. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the web the webbing this time. I didn't quite like that um, because it made it a little harder to put them together. It came out okay. Like it came out pretty okay, but. Thank you, June. She says, cool 25 patch, appreciate that. We need dance music. <laughs> I felt like that music is a pretty good, like, you know, groove music. So Terry says, uh, do whatever's easiest for you during your move. Don't want you to commit. Uh, just let it happen. Thanks for asking, though. I appreciate that, guys. I really do appreciate you letting me take control and do what I need to do during the move. Let's do this one this way. Oh, Amy says, I find that webbing works better if you don't press until the very end. Ah. Everyone needs to stay hydrated, absolutely. Could not agree more. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I've been drinking so much water lately. I think part of it was when I had food poisoning, like my body got dehydrated. Catherine says, so very proud of you. Thank you. Atlanta is friendly. Okay, please type in the chat. I can't promise that I'll remember how to pronounce your name. Uh, meets M-I-T-Z-I. -I. Please help me out. I feel, I feel terrible that I keep mispronouncing your name and I know I'm mispronouncing it. If you can do it phonetically in the chat for me, let me know how you pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I feel, I feel terrible. Um, Bambi says, I lived in Southern California for 41 years and then I moved to Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Wow, that's a big move. Uh, the move did me some good. I, uh, yeah. I think this move is gonna be really, really good for me as well. So I'm very, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I'm nervous, but I'm very excited overall. Um, are you gonna use the pod moving containers? One-stop shop. Tracy, I am currently going out and getting quotes from different companies. I will get a quote from pod as well um, on how much it's gonna cost. Um, but I do kind of, so moving is like this triangle. It's like this triangle of convenience, um, time, and money and it, you're trying to find the balance of all three and you really can only get two of them. So it's time and convenience, but not money, or it's money and time, but not convenience, or, you know, you kind of have, you kind of have to balance out that triangle and um, it, it's trying to figure out what, what the balance of that triangle is gonna be for me. I used to have to move every three to four years with the military. Glad I stay put now. Sorry that you don't feel safe there in Texas. Lisa, I appreciate that. It, and I can't imagine moving every two to three years. Um, I probably should though, with how much stuff I collect, I probably should move every two to the, three years, but oof, goodness gracious. Uh, my friend put an air tag in every box. It saved her from losing a couple of boxes. The tracking, comp the tracking capabilities have saved her lots of money. That is, I, I'm probably gonna put it in the boxes that I care about the most. First of all, okay, let me say this. First of all, none of my Tula is going on a moving truck. I will be moving that myself. Uh, and I'm gonna have to ship my car because I don't have enough space in my car. I'm gonna have to rent a van and take that. So my sewing machines and my fabric will not be going on the moving truck. I am moving that. So um, stuff that has like really important stuff in it, I will put air tags in it, but like stuff that if it gets lost, isn't the end of the world, probably won't put it in there. 
Political, uh, Christine says, political cl climate in Canada is getting weird, ready to ask Dominican for asylum <laughs> for the fear of the government. I, it's, it's all over the place. It is absolutely all over the place. Uh, Mitzi, Mitzi, and I think you've probably told me how to say it before. Mitzi, Mitzi, all right, Mitzi, got it. See, what's really funny is I think I, rem I did it right so I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret about the dyslexic brain. I can spell a word one day, and then the very next day I forget how to spell it. It is a weird phenomenon that happens in dyslexic's brains, and I don't know why it happens, but it does. Um, because I feel like I definitely said it right one day, and then today I have completely forgotten how to say it. So I do apologize. Thank you for correcting Mitzi. Um, it. I always get so embarrassed about that too. So Terry says, I had food poisoning and yes, I was so dehydrated. I looked gray even three weeks later. Goodness gracious. Deborah says, are you staying in the United States or leaving for another country? Well, I will tell you, I am staying in the United States. I am not leaving the country. Although I would love to live in another country, uh, depending on the country. My friend lives in Korea. Well, she, I think she's coming back. Um, she taught English in Korea, South Korea for a while. And I think she's moving back to the United States. Um, I see her moving through Tokyo right now. I need to, I need to call her and see how she's doing. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Denise says, hi, just off the cuff, how long do you see yourself being a media uh, creator? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I'm gonna keep doing this um, until it's no longer fun or, um, or for other reasons such as, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know another reason. Um, but I see myself being here for a long time. I really do. It's a good source of secondary income. So great kind of like getting paid to do my hobby kind of situation. Um, also, I, <laughs> while cleaning, I found this, I found this cup and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. So I don't know. Um, to be honest, uh, Denise, my goal is to get the silver play button from YouTube. I would love to get the silver play button which is 100,000 subscribers. Um, when I hit 100,000, I won't just stop doing videos. Like, it, I'm gonna keep going. But like, the goal is to have that plaque hanging on my wall um, saying that I had gotten 100,000 subscribers. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, let's see. Mitzi says, uh, even though I live in Georgia, I feel most at home in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, love, love Wildby Island. Um, I have 25 years of crap. I'm dreading on moving and having to sort through it. I do not blame you one bit for that. But make sure to insure, yes, it will absolutely get insured, 100%. It happens to my brain, but I'm not dyslexic. I think it's fairly common. Mitzi says, uh, I keep them in my suitcase. I keep my air tags in my suitcase. My daughter picked me up from the airport. We stopped for lunch. She said, weird, I'm being tracked by an air tag. I said, it's my suitcase. Um, so what's funny is this quilt has an air tag in it. And I always wonder if like the 18 wheeler driver or the UPS driver gets a notification saying, hey, there's an air tag nearby. And for those of you who don't know, um, if you if an AirTag is traveling with you for a little bit, you get a notification on your iPhone saying, hey, by the way, there's an AirTag near you. So that way, if anybody uses it for malicious reasons, um, you'll know about it. Uh, Sylvia says, I lived in Texas for seven years and I understand, sorry that you're feeling unsafe. It's also one of the reasons why I moved. 
Mitzi, thank you so much for being understanding. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. Dyslexics really appreciate understanding and like empathy and stuff like that. It really, it really makes me feel better. Amy says, that's not weird at all. Spelling is a visual task primarily and dyslexics are visually, is a visually processing problem. It all makes sense. Pam says, I hate to tell you, but no place is safe anymore until we can agree to slow down and let everybody have their own opinions and not step on others. We need to start having compassion for all. That is why I wear the Empathy Rock t-shirt, the Empathy Rocks t-shirt. I love that shirt a lot. Um, and I, I don't disagree with you, Pam, at all. Um, nowhere is 100% safe. And I hate that, to be honest. I hate that nowhere is 100% safe. Shouldn't be like that. Um, Deborah says, well, that leaves 48 other states. Uh, I took Hawaii off the number because you said you were going to rent a van to move. Yes, that does. That does take one off the list. You are correct. Actually, it takes two because Texas. So 47. You only now have 47 other states to guess from. Ooh, the chat's going fast. It's hard for me to keep up. Uh, let's see. Joy T says, uh, I watch YouTube who has over 2 million subscribers and she makes lots of money. I doubt that I will ever have uh, even a million subscribers. Uh, and I don't know that I would really want to make YouTube my full-time job. I enjoy it. I love the community that we have here. I really enjoy getting to spend time with y'all and coming up with projects and doing all that. But I don't know that I would want to make this like my full-time job. I really love the job that I have and I, I love what I do. So I don't know. I don't know if I would ever stop having a full-time job to do this. Um, let's see. Do they work with Android? Uh, Teresa, no, but there are uh, Android options. There are Android options for um, tracking devices. And Apple is working on a way for Android devices to know that there's an AirTag nearby following it as well for, for that safety reason. Ooh, it's windy. It's getting really windy. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Deb says, what about Alaska? Don't you have to go through a little bit of Canada to get there? That is correct. Did I see Fallon is here? Hey, Fallon. Good to see you. <clears throat> so even though I cut these at two and a half inch squares, they are not perfect squares. Uh, take Tennessee off. They they have Dutch Bros. There you go, Brenda. But do they have a? They do have Dutch Bros. But how many do they have? Not many, if I remember correctly. I think there's only like a handful. So maybe it might be Tennessee, but a different part of Tennessee that doesn't have that. Android uses tiles. Uh. Less than 24 inches of snow takes off several other states as well. Sure does. I'm just dropping hints left and right, aren't I? Without even meaning to. Mona says lurking and cutting. Teresa says you need Fallon's trim rulers. Those are pretty awesome. Although pretty soon there may be a new product on the market. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't even ask, that's all I'm gonna say. Sylvia says you can ferry to Alaska. Ah, there you go. You can ferry to Alaska, so there's that. Do, 
I know Florida is off your list. Unfortunately, Florida is off the list. Uh, I think it would be a nightmare to drive a U-Haul through Canada to Alaska. I think Canada would totally search the U-Haul. They probably would. <laughs> Soviet Quilt says, oh, what are we guessing and what are the clues? Cindy says, so is it East Coast or West Coast? I'm not telling. I'm not telling. Not yet. Not yet. Y'all are chomping at the bit to find out, though. Yeah, we're getting really gray skies. Hey, Fallon, are you getting gray skies down there? I've got that. We don't have that green yet, but I'm starting to get a little... It's making me a little nervous. It's making me a little nervous. Okay, I've got to go this way. Gotta go this way with the pressing. Press, 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 press. Uh, Oregon is the home of Dutch Bros, so I guess that can be eliminated. Hmm, Google reports a sharp increase in searches for Dutch Bros in the United States. <laughs> so Terry says, well, is it New York? Straightforward asking. Uh, I need to go this way. Wouldn't that be funny if like Google suddenly reports a huge incline of Google searches for Dutch Bros? Dutch Bros website suddenly crashes. That'd be pretty funny. Um, you need to make a game out of this to find out where you're moving. Kind of like, where in the world was Matt Lawyer uh, back in the day? Where in the world is Waldo? Uh, I got it. You're going to Missouri, says Deborah. I want to do uh, Tiffany's four-patch qu quilt, plus have Fallon's rulers to cut all the scraps. No one likes secrets. That's very true. I know. No one likes secrets, but... I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm gonna jinx it if I announce it. So I'm kinda, until like the moving company is booked and all that, I kinda, I kinda wanna hold on to it a little bit longer. It just cracks me up that everybody's so into it. Everyone's like, ah, this, this, I want this, I wanna know this now. Donna says, we have wind here too in no bad skies. That's, that's great. I'm glad that you don't have the stormy skies that we got right now. Uh, if I go this way, so now I need it to go this way. Uh, Fallon says, really windy here, but I don't think we are getting storms. All last week we had storms though. Thanks, Donna. Not seeing severe weather on the radar yet. I don't think we're, I don't think we have it here. I mean, obviously we don't have it here yet, but it just, there's like a weird electricity and, and Fallon knows this too, because they've lived in Texas long enough. Like there's this weird, like energy that gets in the air when there's going to be bad weather. And it just, it just kind of feels like that right now. I'm gonna be a little nervous tonight, to be honest. Amy says, gotta run for now. Grocery pickup awaits, have fun. See you later, thanks for being here. Debbie says, can't wait, guessing is fun. You should have a contest. I should, I should do that. Deb says, later Gators, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Fallon says, yeah, I'm teasing Ian. We all need a little privacy sometimes. I think poor Kate, uh, taught, I think poor Kate, oh, poor Kate taught us that this week. I know it's not the same, but her video broke my heart. I know it was so sad. Um, but I'm glad that she 
kind of finally let people like let people into what was going on because there were so many rumors floating around. Um, so yeah. Donnell says you should do a giveaway for anyone that has guessed it on Google Forms or something. I may do that. I might do a giveaway where I um, just kind of like leave a blank space and you have to guess where I'm moving. I might do that. I might do that. Which, by the way, I forgot to mention this as well. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for, because I'm almost to 15,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm getting dangerously close to 15,000. So tell your friends to subscribe because once I hit 15,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. And I think it's going to be kind of a big one. Um, I think I'm going to use some of the money that I get from um, the ad revenue and stuff. I think I want to do kind of a big giveaway. So if you would like that to happen sooner rather than later, tell your friends to subscribe. I'm super close to 15,000, which feels really weird to say. Really, really weird to say. Uh oh, the zoom crashed. Becca's zoom crashed, and so now it is back up. So if you are in the VIP retreat, uh, Becca says that the whole zoom crashed, and um, she's got it back up and running. Louise says Florida might be too hot for Ian, another state to cross off the list. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> Jackie says there are 30 plus states with no Dutch bros. Again, it, the state might have Dutch bros, but it may not be in the area. So there's that. So maybe I would have to drive a couple of hours to get a Dutch Bros coffee. Just saying. Well, how'd that work? I don't know. That one's trying to go the wrong way and I'm having to do, do it the other way. Let's see here. Lubbock has a few bubbles. Nothing moving towards you, though. Good to know. Poor Lubbock. Lubbock gets, like, hit all the time. Fallon, doesn't, don't you feel like Lubbock gets hit, like, every other week with severe weather? I feel, I, I don't know. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but it sure feels like it sometimes. <clears throat> Zaza says we need, I, and I hope it's okay that I'm calling you Zaza. Uh, says, we need some more clues. I think that is all the clues you're going to get for today. I don't want to, I don't want to let it, let it too far out. You did say you need to de-stash, says Donnell. I do. I really do need to de-stash. He didn't say there were no Dutch brothers in the state. He just said not where he's living. Good pick up on the clues, Shelly. Denise says, are you moving to the new 51st state? I don't think that uh, any of the existing states are safe for anyone. It feels like it sometimes, doesn't it? Donna is breaking out the map of the US to cross off states I will not be going to. How? How did I, how? How did I do this? How did I do this? They're going the opposite way. Did I just have it the wrong way? I guess I just had it the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know what I did. Weird. On the webbing one, like I know I couldn't have possibly got it the wrong way. But I guess I just like flipped the row. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but whatever. It's fixed. That's all that matters. Whoops. Uh, 
When I moved back to Georgia from Puget Sound near Seattle, I used a United van. They were awesome. Good to know. Dawn, thank you so much for subscribing. That notification was on my head. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Lisa says, the weather is really strange here in Western Washington. The sky is a weird color. It's blue. And there's this very bright, shiny thing in the sky. The sun, I think it's called. I know, it's crazy that y'all are having sun right now, right? Y'all don't see it very often. Kate, it's fun to figure out where I'm going to be going. It is fun. It's fun to guess. It's fun. I know I would be, if it was the other way around, I would be totally like, I want to know. I want to guess. Um... Mitzi said, when I moved from North Carolina to Seattle, I, uh, I unsur an internet company and had very bad results. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Donna says, uh, where you move is your business. We'll find out when you get there. I know, it's no worries at all. I'm enjoying every, I'm enjoying the, everybody trying to figure it out. It's, it's fun to watch from this side um, as everyone's trying to figure out where it's going to be and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Well, I definitely did mess it up somehow. I don't know how, but I messed it up. How did I do that? This is now the second one that I've messed up. Oh, wow, the sun is like pfft, all of a sudden coming out real bright, which makes the dark skies even worse. I don't know how I messed that up. Guys, what am I doing? Like, it just, it's so weird. It's so weird. It's, it is fun to guess. Thanks for the entry. Absolutely. Totally. I did spin a row upside down. I don't know how. Uh, Fallon asks, Ian, did you have another show lined up for R Rainbow Vortex? I have um, a couple of shows that I am, I have a whole spreadsheet of, um, oh, Fallon, I got to show you the ribbon here in a second. Um, I do have another show lined up for it. I am waiting for them to post the 2024 rules and form and all that kind of stuff. So I'm waiting for it, but I think it's gonna be the Ellis County um, quilt show will be the next one that Rainbow Vortex is in. Ah, Melissa says, how funny, a coffee ad. <laughs> Joydy said as I would be the first person to tell you not to move to North Carolina. I liked it while I was visiting. I don't know if I would live there though. If you spun a row upside down, didn't you just spin it again and it'll be correct? Well, one of the things was the, um, one of the squares had a face in it and I wanted the face to go a certain way. And so I could have just flipped it, but I wanted the face to go upwards. <laughs> Fallon says, my guess is Ian doesn't even know where he's moving. He's letting Becca Choose the moving truck and it's just going to drop him somewhere. Oh my. Can you imagine that? Could you imagine not knowing where you were going to be moving and just letting someone else, you know, 
schedule the truck and all that and just show up somewhere. Oh my gosh. That would be a trip. Hello, new city that I don't even know. All right. All right, there we go. Here is our pink and red. Look at that, I love this. It looks so good. I love it, I love it, I love it. Love it. So these are the two 25 patch blocks that I worked on today. How fun. Sherry says, late to the live show, but my trails are made. Uh, my nine patches are done and my flying geese are complete. Anxious to see what you choose to move on from here. All right, so those are, oh, I was, uh, Strawberry Girl, thank you for subscribing. Fallon, are you ready for this? I, for those who didn't see earlier today, I got my uh, SMP Quilt Fest ribbon today from FedEx. Look how, like, it's, it's the size of my face. It's the size of my face. It's crazy, it's crazy how big it is. That's what he said. Um, but yeah, so I got that in the mail or FedEx, I should say, got that today, which was a wonderful surprise on a Sunday. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Louise says, so be it quilts. I hope he didn't let Becca choose. He needs to find a place to live before his stuff gets there, right? Oh man. Let's see, oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Uh, love your block, nice block. Uh, love that you got a face of the deer. I know, like, it fit in perfectly. I got a face of a deer and the um, flamingo, and it kind of put the dog in there a little bit. Not perfect, but I also got the rose up here at the top as well. So it's almost like an eye spy. Becky says, wow, those, those uh, patches are gorgeous. Thank you. It almost could be, a, I know, right, Brian? That, that, that ribbon could be its own hat. It's so, it's ginormous. I could wear, I could wear it as a, as a hat. Now that's a ribbon, right? See, there we go, there's my hat. Tracy says, I'm mixing up all my colors in the 25 patch. Uh, I'm using leftover scraps from the co uh, Cottage Blue Robin Pickens and my star is, my, my star and background are thatched. So my homage to Robin. Oh, very cool. Hello from Houston, Texas. Hello, Becky, good to see you. So yeah, there we go. Ginormous ribbon, cannot believe it. For me, webbing is just a snag, uh, a sn snaggle. Uh, good for those who like it, but it's definitely not for, yeah, it's not for me. I like it, I like to do it this way for me. Um, Cause even when I didn't do the webbing, I still messed up which direction to press. But um, yeah, no, I love these. I love these blocks. They're really pretty. I'm looking at, oh, and I also got a, I forgot I got the um, hippopotamus down here as well. <laughs> wear, wear the ribbon on Derby Day, right? No kidding, so. All right, um, so I'm gonna continue working on two more. I got two more to make. I got the orange and yellow and the greens and teals to do. So I need to work on those. Um, we are at an hour and 39 minutes. I don't want to go over two hours. So I think I'm gonna stop it here. So let's talk about what we need to do next. So we are finishing up homework. Uh, finishing, we finished up our star blocks or the star centers. So on page, if you're doing the pattern with me on page six, um, it says to do the, st the, st the stars and sky. So your homework for this week is you are going to finish everything on page six. So we're gonna sew our star trails, our star center and our star points um, into those rows. And then I think um, next week, what are we doing next week? Let me double check. 
next week on the live stream. I don't even remember what I'm doing next week. Uh, next week's live stream is going to be set up and we are going to be, so next week we're going to be um, starting in on the stars and sky. So that's going to be your page um, seven, like working on page seven and starting to assemble on page eight. So that's what we're going to be working on next weekend. So next week, it, next Sunday, for week five, we're going to be working on the sky and stars. So page seven. So get things cut if you haven't already. I haven't cut anything for page seven yet. So I've got to cut page seven and page eight um, and get that prepped. And we have two live streams for that. I don't know if we're going to need both of them. I set up two just in case. So. Uh, I'm going to work on week five and then uh, if we need to go to week six, we can. Uh, but if I happen to finish everything on week five, then we won't do week six. So we'll just kind of play it by ear and see what happens. Uh, Jackie says, Ian, thank you for keeping me company while I stuff vinyl envelopes with magnetic sheets for my card dies. Discovered that I have way more Sizzix dies than I thought I had. I, that happened to me when I started getting rid of my stamp sets, I was like, oh man, I have a lot more die sets than I originally thought I did. Uh, Becky says, will you get a shadow box long enough to put your ribbon in to save it? I'm, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like that idea. Oh, Donna, thank you. I totally forgot next weekend is Easter. So next weekend is Easter. I totally forgot about that. I don't celebrate Easter, so um, I don't even think about it. So my apologies. I will still have a live stream on Sunday. Um, but I know that that may mean there may not be as many of you in, in the chat and, and everything, and that's totally fine. You can catch the replay. Um, so we may keep it at two, two, uh, like weeks five and six, because a lot of you may be doing Easter stuff. Um, and so we may need both next Sunday and the Sunday after to finish out the quilt. So we will, we will keep it as is, I feel like, um, and just get things finished up. June says, bye everyone, have a great day. Have been sewing my nine patches uh, in houses together, excellent. Excellent, Melissa says, if you are live next week, I will be here, I will be here. I am gonna go live next week. Um, I just realized that I may not have as many people here and that is perfectly fine. So a lot of people may be spending time with their family. So all that to say, Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. We, we made two, I made two. I don't know what you, you probably made four or six while I just made two. Uh, worked on these 25 patches. I uh, love how they came out. It's really beautiful. I've got to get caught up, says Deb, as I didn't do the centers yet. Well, perfect time to do that. Um, thank you guys so much for being here today. I, guys, thank you so much for voting for me, supporting me here on YouTube and helping me do what I do here. I really do appreciate each and every one of you and I love each and one of each and every one of you. Love you guys. Remember, normal is just a setting on the dryer and I'll see you next Sunday. Have a great day everybody and uh toodaloo.